This video is going to walk through the final part of the lost wax casting process using a vacuum casting machine. So, firstly, having calculated the weight of our sprued up wax tree, we now need to calculate the amount of metal that we need. So, for my flask A, I had 13 grams of wax, and I'd like to cast in copper. So I must multiply my wax weight by the relative density of my chosen metal. For this example it will be 13 times 8.9. This would then make 115.7 grams of copper. Having calculated this figure, I then must add on 10% more to allow for the button. In this example, this will make the final weight of copper to be 126.7 grams. The casting machine is designed for using casting grain. So if using recycled metal, make sure it is clean and cut into small chunks. The larger surface area will aid the melting process, plus larger chunks may dislodge the sealing rod. We will be casting using a vacuum casting machine. First, we will have set the temperature to the melting point of our chosen metal. So for copper, it is 1083 degrees Celsius. The top half of the machine contains the crucible and heating elements and the bottom half of the machine is where our investment flask will go inside a vacuum chamber. When my crucible is getting closer to my melting temperature I will then carefully start to add my metal to the chamber. So our investment flask has already been burnt out in a kiln before we cast. This has left us with an empty cavity where our wax was, which is why the process is called lost wax casting. Here I am making sure there is no loose debris on the sides of my flask so I can ensure I get a good seal and a strong vacuum from the machine. The flask is taken from the kiln which is held at about 650 degrees Celsius. This is to ensure a smooth cast. We don't want too much of a sudden temperature difference between the molten metal and the flask. This is to help the metal reach all parts of our tree. In addition, the vacuum created where the investment flask sits will help pull the molten metal to all parts of the model. Once the investment flask is in the chamber with a vacuum and the metal has reached its melting temperature, then I will lift the sealing rod to allow the molten metal to flow into the flask. Once the cast is done, you can open the casting chamber and will see the molten metal button glowing red hot. We must wait for the button to cool slightly to a dull cherry red colour before quenching.
Here are my metal tree castings. Now I can use sprue cutters or my piercing saw to take the models off the tree and get them ready for cleanup.